and I'm not gonna feel like, you know, dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow. Hey there, I'm Olivia. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna be doing another one of my five minute makeup looks using only five products. So this is a really fun little series that I love to do where basically I try to pick out five products that's 10, where I try to pick out five products that can be used in kind of a multitasking way and do a makeup look that only takes five minutes. So today I'm using things that are all drugstore pricing. So the first thing I chose is kind of an all over complexion product is the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. I very recently got this, so I haven't gotten to try it out a ton, but as I understand, it's just kind of a diffusing illumination that goes all over. So I don't expect it to have any coverage per se, but just kind of give an all over glow that kind of helps to, you know, blur a few things that we we don't want super obvious. <laughs> because it doesn't have anything really in terms of like covering up spots, I did pick out a concealer. This one is my L'Oreal True Match. This one is in the shade Fair Light. And this one is just gonna be good for some spot concealing underneath my eyes, really anywhere where I feel like I want some actual coverage and not just kind of a glow. So next I picked out my Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. This one is in the shade Cafe Asle. I think this is the only shade that they have for this particular product. But this one, of course I'm gonna use it as a cream bronzer, but I also would like to try to fill in my brows with it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be quite pigmented for that, but we'll give it a shot. And then depending on how much time I have, I could also use this on my eyes to kind of deepen things up a bit. The main focus of my eyes though, I want to be this Ulta Beauty Cream Eyeshadow and Liner. This one is in the shade Naked Truth, a very pretty like off-white kind of shimmery color. So I think that this is gonna be really pretty all over the lid, inner corner, I could do it underneath the brow bone. Depending, I could even probably use it as a little bit of a cheek highlight, depending on time. I'll definitely have to work fast because I know that it can set down kind of quick, but I do think it could be really pretty. But I might get enough glow just from this product, so we'll see how it goes. The last one, I think it's Laura I can't actually remember who makes this, but it's the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. This is just black mascara, nothing too fancy about it, but it'll just kind of help to tie everything together. So that's all the products that I chose. We'll go ahead and start the timer and let's do this. Okay, so that's everything. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with how this look turned out. I definitely like how it looks very glowy. That's kind of a central theme of all these looks that I've been doing, trying to do something just very kind of light and glowy for the skin. I feel like I'm able to get away with having less products and having things kind of serve more purposes or just skip them all together if I don't have a really like heavy full coverage foundation down. Because I feel like if I'm gonna have a heavy full coverage foundation then I also need to have like a powder to set things down with so that like products on top don't stick and I don't know, I just feel like it would look kind of weird to have like a really heavy foundation and then like 
hardly anything for like lips or eyes. That's just me though, personally. But speaking of eyes, I really like how that shadow stick turned out. It's definitely subtle, but that's okay. I just like that kind of light glow. I didn't end up adding anything extra to my cheeks because honestly, I feel like it's so glowy. Like, I definitely don't feel the need for any additional highlight. I really like this product. I'm honestly surprised at how much I like it because I know that it got a little bit of backlash because it was a little bit more on the expensive end for drugstore. Of course, I actually got this on sale for like $8, I think, so that's not terrible, but I know it retails for more. But I just really like how it looks. I feel like the older I get and the less problems I have with acne, I still get breakouts every now and then, but not nearly as often. I'm much more attracted to the idea of having something like this, where it's just very glowy and you can really see your skin through it and you just look like healthy. So I'm happy about that. I think the mascara did a good job. I like the, how that bronzer worked. I really like the tone of that one. I've had it for a long time and I really enjoy it. The only thing that I'm not like hugely a fan of is the brows. And honestly, it's just because of the color. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be a great match and it's definitely much lighter and much warmer than my actual brows. I often say that, but I feel like it's especially bad in this case. But it's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm still gonna go out about the rest of my day. Like, it's fine. I'm happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you had fun as well. If you'd be interested in seeing future videos, definitely make sure you subscribe and I hope I see you again soon. Bye.